morning students welcome to the first video lesson of social studies class 3 what can you see on your screen yes it's the image of the earth taken from the space so today's topic is earth in space we are going to cover the information given on page number 1 of your book students having old print will find this information on page number 5 the time duration of the lesson is 35 minutes and the resources required are smart social studies book 3 pencils and color pencils so let's review the vocabulary these are the new words you are going to come across during this chapter the first word is rotation which means a circular movement of an object around a central point you can see in this image this is earth sexes it's a central point around which the earth is moving so this movement of the earth is called rotation the second word in the list is revolution the movement of one object around another orbit now this in this image you can see this is the sun and this is the earth now earth is moving around the sun so this movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution the third word in the list is orbit The orbit is nearly a circular path of planets around the sun. Now you can see in this image the earth is moving on this path around the sun. So this is called orbit. Tilt means slope or slant. You can observe in this image the axis of the earth is not straight. It is slant so it is tilted now let's review the objectives of the day by the end of this lesson you should be able to explore basic facts about the sun explore the features of the solar system name the planets of the solar system in correct sequence and find the basic features of the earth what can you see on your screen now yes it's the sun let's recall a few basic facts about the sun the sun is a star do you know it's the biggest star It is extremely hot. It is at the heart of the solar system. You can see in this image this is the sun. So, it's in the center of the solar system and all the rest of the planets are moving around it. Students, do you know how the planets move on their orbits without getting disbalanced yes this is the gravity of the sun which keeps all the elements of the solar system on their place solar system what is the solar system made up of the solar system is made up of the sun and all the smaller objects that move around it there are eight planets in the solar system mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune now let's sing the planet song together to get more got a lot of information about the planets through this song so our planet earth is the third planet from the sun
can you think of the conditions which make life possible on earth? Yes, it's the only planet known to have large amounts of liquid water, which is essential for life. Do you know the earth is also called the blue planet? And do you know the reason why is it called the blue planet? 70% of the earth is covered with water. And when you see the earth, from space it mostly appears blue and that is the reason it's also called the blue planet let's review what we have learned today what is the sun why is the sun important what is the solar system made up of name the planets of the solar system in sequence what conditions on the earth make life possible? Now check your answers. What is the sun? Yes, the sun is an extremely hot and the biggest star. Why is the sun important? It's important for the solar system because its gravity holds all the elements of the solar system at their place. What is the solar system made up of? The solar system is made up of the sun and all smaller objects that move around it. Name the planets of the solar system in sequence. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. What conditions on the Earth make life possible? It's the only planet known to have large amounts of liquid water, which is essential for life. So I hope your answers were correct. Now let's practice. Your task number one is draw and label the solar system on page number five of your book. Students having old print will find this question on page number nine of their book. You have 10 minutes to complete the task. Task number two. Complete question number one, part one and two from page number five of your book. Students having old print will find this, these questions on page number nine. These questions are also highlighted with red here. So, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Have a good day.